Hello everybody, it is Brian from QuantLabs.net. Some big, 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 massive developments are happening uh, with this video. I'll show you what they are in a minute. Let's just recap. I have moved from Linux uh, to Windows with v Visual C++ uh, development. Um, right now I can say for sure uh, in the span of about an hour and a bit I was able to do so much in such little time I'll show you what those are to do this over a month with Linux I would have no hope in hell in getting this stuff done in such little time with Linux I'm fairly competent with Linux um, I'm not gonna rant on about it but this is why the switch happened with Windows versus uh, C++ and Visual C++ uh, in mind. Um, and I'm gonna about to show you why. Okay, so let's talk about um, some new developments. I'm gonna walk you through uh, where things have been. Um, as you know, I've been looking for CUDA, GPU. I have experimented with a, uh, FPGA. If I had the money, I would without a doubt do uh, FPGA, a very expensive, um, uh, endeavor you're looking at oh I don't know ten fifteen thousand dollars for some of the cards from Xilinx or Altera and also using MATLAB you are easily going to be spending about a forty fifty thousand dollar to get something fairly decent on the hardware side as well as the software licensing never mind that we're back to CUDA um, and I'm about to show you something even better than CUDA um, but we're still working in the world of GPU graphical processing unit um, and this is all courtesy of Microsoft and the latest developments with Microsoft with Visual Studio 2012. So let's get started. Okay, where did this, uh, where did this um, journey start? Um, let me also recap about my open source uh, 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 algorithm uh, libraries. A lot of them are not thread safe. They say they are, they're bloated. Comes back to the no different than uh, the open source uh, world of trying to work with a high frequency trading system. You know the history. If you, if you, if you don't know it, do the searches on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, uh, and you'll see where I'm coming from. But I just move faster with this, this type of thing. And uh, I'm gonna, again, I'm about to show you why. So what have I been looking for are uh, basic, very simple um, algorithms, uh, you know, simple stuff, moving average. And lo and behold, there are not a lot to work with with um, with uh, uh, C++. It kind of surprises me, um, but uh, nevertheless, I found something actually from Microsoft, or actually, sorry, Dr. Dobbs, which led me to this. Uh, moving average for trading or, or stocks um, in, in C++, Visual C++, great. Then there's this new thing called AMP. What is AMP? Um, well, it comes back to that parallelization that we were talking about. Stands for uh, Accelerated Massive Parallelism. It's built off of Microsoft's, uh, call, I think it's called Direct D, or sorry, Direct 3D, something like that. Um, but there's some big developments with this new Visual C++ for 2012. What are we looking at? There you go, Direct 3D. Um, okay, so what, what are some of the developments? First of all, with the new Visual C++, you get something called Lambdas. I'll let you do uh, the uh, searches on that and what a Lambda is. If I'll just show you what a Lambda um, may look like. It's like this little guy right here. Um, Java generics, anybody? Um, and uh, that's where we sit. So we are now moving into GPU. No different than CUDA, but this is Microsoft's answer to CUDA um, with this Direct 3D uh, library. Um, and it's all in C++. I believe that there's also C Sharp as well. Um, but for C++, we like things native to C++, yay. So we've got this uh, example. Um, I, I'm not going to use this in this demo, but um, I will uh, show you um, another example it was very simple to get you up and running. Uh, I just want to talk about the uh, overall of this AMP uh, library. Um, so this is the first link. Uh, if you come to my website, you'll get all the links here under this name. Um, so going back to the Dr. Dobbs article. Uh, so you got some coding examples here. Here's the uh, SMA using AMP. Um, so I'm, I'm still going to move towards that. Um, the 
the nice thing is I just want you to uh, point you to this uh, uh, resource here is that uh, in this uh, download there's an interesting a very interesting article uh, PowerPoint presentation for the new the new people call them slide decks um, but uh, I just want to show you a slide oh my god a concurrency visualizer for GPU say it ain't so wow we got a way to debug GPU in Visual Studio how awesome is that does Linux have that probably not um so that's why I'm showing you this. So that capability now exists right on Microsoft. They're getting kind of cool these days. Um, um another area. Some other uh examples here uh from this developer fusion. I've got that in that article. Okay, now this is what I'm gonna show you. A very simple search string sample with C++ using AMP. Uh, it gives you a big spiel, song and dance about it, but you can easily download the example right here. Oh, here we go! Look at what we got installed, folks. Oh my god, it's the new Visual Studio 2012. Goodbye, Studio, Visual Studio 2010. So, uh, this looks really cool. This new, this new um, Visual Studio. I haven't played enough with it yet, um, but uh, I just wanted to show you that. That uh, in future videos, you'll be seeing more of the Visual Studio 2012 as opposed to the uh, 2010. That was a good uh, IDE, but this one's uh, leaps and bounds. Somebody says it's much faster. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. I haven't played with it enough. Okay, so as you extract your string search example. This is why this company is what I am using because I was able to bang this out like that, a very simple rebuild, okay? This is what I expect to see in any open source sort of stuff. But you know, it never happens and you waste your time trying to figure stuff out. So uh, why, why bother going through that? Um, you just waste your time. That's what I did with the open source and the Linux stuff. But nonetheless, this is what we like to see. One succeeded right on. Okay, so let's run it. Now remember I got a CUDA card in here. Do a search on the kind of CUDA card I have on my YouTube. I've got a few uh, videos on that of uh, what it looks like and all that wonderful stuff so you can find it. But let's run it. So it sees the card, which it is, the GT620. Um, this is a very entry-level card, so please don't laugh. It's only, I only pay $30 for it. I just want to be able to do simple uh, CUDA development, but here you go. Wow, a 2.2% 2, 2, 2 speed up. I, I'm, I'm so amazed at that. The key is that it works. The CUDA is running. Obviously, I'll get a better board for a few hundred dollars, but for now, I'm okay with that. I just want to test, make sure I can run the GPU. The best part is, is that all these calls from C++, all these new ones from uh, that that are part of the um, the, uh, the 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 GPU AMP libraries, actually do work, which is a good good sign. No headaches to run it, uh, and there's tons and tons of sample code uh, uh, in C++ or Visual C++. So. There you go, um, leaps and bounds. It's, it's, I'm, I'm so happy to have this all working, have my Visual Studio 2012 working. I feel like it's Christmas all over again. Happy days are here again now that I've got something working and uh, don't have to go through the frustrations of you know what. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna pay the price down the line with this uh, for something. Uh, you can't expect Microsoft to be perfect and everything, but uh, so far so good. Uh, and now I'll just try out some of these other um, libraries and see where it goes. I'll talk to you later.